Hi everybody, today I'm going to be starting a new series on the game Tribal Wars. Uh, in this episode, I'm going to be covering what the game is, and then in the other episodes, I'm going to be covering, covering the different stages of the game and the different paths you can take along the way. Uh, so right here, as you can see, this is the main page for Tribal Wars. Uh, I'm on .us right now for the sake of this video, but typically I play on the .net servers, which is worldwide. Uh, but it is English only, but you have a lot of people that are, uh, you know, English is not their first language. Okay, so starting out, um, we're going to start on this world, and as you can see, this will give you your world information. You can click here for the full, full world settings, uh, which is something I would highly suggest and recommend because different worlds have different settings, and um, if you have played or at least understand the game a little bit, then you'll kind of want to pick a world that's going to be with settings of your favor. So you click, click on join the game and as you can see this pops up. Uh, this will pop up every day. Um, this is your daily bonuses and as you can see you get rewards for logging in daily. Um, this is definitely one of those games that you're going to want to be playing pretty consistently if you're going to want to get anywhere on it. Uh, but if you're just playing for, for casuals then um, make sure you're logging in every day to to get those okay so this is your village uh, right right here you can see that um, there's a headquarters and this is where you're gonna construct all your buildings and then you're gonna see your warehouse and this is uh, how many resources you can hold which you can also see that up here and um, if you click in the warehouse though you can see how many hours until your warehouse is full based on um, how many resources you're getting per hour, which over here you can see that. And um, then right here you can see the farm, and that's also right here. This is your population. When you're building troops, troops uh, occupy a specific population, and buildings do as well. Okay, so those are your starting villages. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on your quest up here, and you're going to see that it's asking you to uh, construct a timber camp. and you're also going to want to click this because buildings under three minutes can be finished instantly. And you're going to see me fly through these quests. I mean, they're really simple. It's one at a time. Um, there's no different variations of quests or anything. So uh, it'll be fairly easy for you to walk right through these without me going through each individual quest. Basically, what they're asking you to do is upgrade your... Um, timber camp, your clay pit, and your iron mine so that you can get more resources per hour. And so that was the first couple quests and then it's asking you to build your headquarters um, up a level which the headquarters, the higher the level, um, the shorter amount of time it takes to build these buildings. Which later on in the game, um, building buildings will take a significant more amount of time. I mean right now it's at you know 6 seconds, 1 minute and 28 seconds. But that's obviously to attract the new players and um, get them very engaged when they first start the game. So as you can see now, we have a couple levels on our different on our different buildings here. Uh, you can see I can click on the timber camp and I can see how many units I'm getting per hour. And if I were to level it up to level three, how many units how many units uh, additionally I would get. Um, so it would be nine more units per hour. So then now it's going to be asking us to build a barracks, which a barracks is where you're going to um, recruit your troops. And, okay, so yeah, we got the barracks now. Um, so it's still just hammering away at these quests. I suppose we'll just follow the quest here. It might be a little bit easier. Um, once again, more resource pits. And then our barracks. A uh, higher barracks level will reduce the amount of time that it takes to uh, to build troops. So if I were to make this a level 3 barracks, it might be um, 6 minutes and 30 seconds, let's say, for a troop rather than 6 minutes and 44 seconds. So now it's going to be asking us to attack a barbarian village. So to do that, you just go up on the map, and all these gray villages right here are barbarian villages. All the ones that have, you know, this um, kind of brownish, reddish dot are going to be active players. Well, not necessarily active, but they will be players. So um, at this point, uh, we're going to say stick to the barbarian villages. So we're going to attack a barbarian village. You can click on the village and you can click right here and send your troops that way. 
is well that's what it's saying right here to do uh, but the other option is you can click this village and click this little center button and you can click send troops this is an additional way to send it but it's essentially the same thing so this quest i believe it's asking us to if you don't see another barbarian village try moving the map okay well what we're going to do is because i know where these quests go and i'm going to cancel that attack i sent that attack to complete the quest but i do know in a little bit i am going to have another quest and i'm going to want these troops home wait we'll go back into the village and uh, we'll click the rally point here you can see that it takes 49 minutes for these troops to walk from here to here and that's just to get there so that's you know an hour and 40 minutes there and back to get your troops home so I'm gonna cancel that too and then I'm gonna complete that quest and then it's gonna be asking us for uh, the warehouse so we're gonna upgrade the warehouse because we don't want that filling up because if you fill up your warehouse and um, you're sleeping or something like that, those resources are literally just being thrown down the drain. That's the biggest thing that you just cannot let happen at this stage of the game. You need to make sure that you're either spending your resources before you go to bed or you're building your warehouse up enough to the point where uh, you're not going to lose those resources. Okay, so now iron mine warehouse so iron mine warehouse finish finish you know this is quick stuff uh, once again more resource levels the thing is is if you weren't to get those resource levels this early you'd start having issues where you're not making enough resources to produce really any buildings so that's why it's so important to follow these quests right away at the beginning so now it's asking us to recruit a spear fighter recruit complete then we should get another one to recruit another spear fighter. Then we're going to look at that quest again. And it's going to ask us to build this to um, our, our barracks to level 3. So if you look at the time right here, 644. And that's the amount of time it takes to make one spear unit. And we're going to upgrade this barracks to level 3. And when we hop back in here, you can see that went down to 621. So I'm going to complete that quest. And now it's asking us to construct a statue. So what statues are for, statues are for paladins. So a paladin is kind of like your, I guess, a hero, if you will. Um, they're going to be able to give your attacks uh, additional bonuses and that kind of thing. And you can upgrade them, name them, and all sorts of stuff like that. So now this quest is going to be... Um, asking us to recruit a paladin and we're gonna name him we're gonna name him Troy because he, he just looks like a Troy and your first paladin um, you can finish for free but I'm pretty sure it's about six hours if I'm not mistaken uh, to create a paladin uh, if they are killed in battle okay so um, we're, we're in pretty far right here so this is gonna be um, all right so so far uh, we completed a couple quests uh, we got a couple resource levels as you can see we got our paladin made and um, I think we're going to cut that out right here alright guys so uh, we're in a little bit right here we have a couple quests completed um, there's plenty more quests to go uh, as you can see we have a couple troops recruiting uh, we have some base or some levels on our uh, pits or so getting more than like 10 an hour and yeah so that's that's basically all right guys so so far we have uh, a couple levels on our pits we have our statue made we have our paladin educated and a couple troops being made in the barracks so uh, check out my next video and i'll start going over more quests and uh, I should be getting into a little bit of the offensive and defensive routes of the game. So thanks for watching.